I'm going to be telling you seven good reasons why so many people, not just foreigners, but British people want to leave the UK. This may be a surprise to you because as much as so many of us in thousands want the opportunity to migrate to the UK, there are also thousands of people who want to leave the UK every day. This may also help your decision if you're trying to move to the UK. Please remember to please subscribe to this channel for more videos and <laughs> for videos about everything. The first is the cost of living. As much as the pound is very high and you know the rate is very impressive, there are so many other currencies that are almost as high as pounds or even more than pounds. Dollar is almost meeting the pound. So the cost of living in the UK generally is very expensive. When you talk about house rent, tax, national insurance, what will be deducted from your salary, electricity, gas, petrol. With the recent inflation in the UK, it has made the cost of living in the UK skyrocketed and there has not been increase in the salary. So, so many people are wondering why you work so hard in this country with high cost of living and at the end, although the salary may look enticing, although they may tell you you're going to earn so, so, so thousands of money, that is before tax, that is before all the deduction. Once all these deductions are done and you look at what you're left with to cover all your expenses, I'm not saying it's not doable, I'm not saying you're not going to save, but I'm saying the cost of living is very expensive compared to other countries, compared to other Western countries, compared to other advanced countries, and compared to even other European countries. For instance, when you look at the countries that pay nurses the most, the United Kingdom is not even in one of the tents on the list. But the cost of living is very, very expensive. I know sometimes we tend to defend the high cost of living, high tax rate, high interest rates. We tend to defend it with the fact that the UK has the NHS, which is the free health to all citizens and residents of the UK. We should also remember that if you look at the salary you earn in other parts of the world and you look at the cost of living and even the cost of health, sometimes you're left to wonder which is the best, which is better, which should you go for. So the cost of living in the UK, especially since COVID, has become very, very high to the extent that some people are really struggling, even having to do one, two, three jobs just to keep up with the cost of living. The second reason is the salary. When you look at the salary in the UK, compared to other countries, especially as a professional, you, you are going to see that in the UK, you don't get as much money as you will get in the other countries, even though the cost of living in the UK is very high. Even in the EU countries, you can get paid higher as a professional compared to what you get paid in the UK. And the tax rate is also very, very high. At the end of the day, what you're left with can barely sustain you. And that is why you have so many people who has now thought not even working and claiming benefit is actually more profitable than working because at the end of the day, what you get paid for the hard work you've done is almost not enough. And please don't mistake this for calculating or converting to our local currency. Remember, the cost of living back home is not is also not as high. What I pay for rent in a month in the UK, 660 pounds is almost enough to rent a decent house for a whole year back in Nigeria. So please, when you're converting the money, also remember that cost of living back home or wherever you're converting from is also not the same. I know you will agree with me if, you've, if you have any relative in the UK or if you've watched any video concerning the UK weather, you will agree with me that the UK weather is not friendly at all. I am not complaining, please don't misunderstand this video to me complaining or bringing down the UK. It is just giving you the reason why so many people have decided that they've had enough and they want to try to move abroad. They the weather in the UK is also not so friendly. Even in summer, 
even in summer you cannot just decide to bring your chairs out or to have your camper van or your camping net and decide to go because you cannot predict when it's going to rain even in the winter you cannot predict the weather at all it is not as favorable there's so many people who have decided that they want a warmer place so many british when they see you even in scotland they're like gloria what are you doing here? Why would you want to come to this type of weather when we are trying to go to warmer weathers? You see during their summer holiday, most of them want to go to warm places because it is always cold. You cannot even go outside. It is very windy. It is unfriendly. The weather, I think that is one of the reasons why so many people have decided that they're not that social to come outside and have fun. Although they do, but you see most people in the comfort of their homes. The weather is not that favorable. And the fourth reason is the increase in crime rate. Although compared to countries like the US, the crime rate in the UK is still not as high, but over the years there has been increase in crime rates, especially in the bigger cities, drug, and so many other crimes in the UK. So because of this, some people don't feel safe. Even though some of us feel at home here, some of us feel safer here, there are still people who think the crime rate in the UK can be better. Apart from the increased crime rate, the rules and regulation in the UK can be somewhat or somehow overboard because there's rules for everything rules for when you should do this when you shouldn't do that even as a nurse i've never worked in a strict environment as i have in the uk sometimes you cannot even speak because you don't know what you're going to say that will be used against you you can get stroked off your license you can get accused you can get into so many trouble because of how strict the law is so as a citizen in this country or even as a resident you're having to be very careful to walk on your toe and although this is a good thing because you know then there will be reduced there will be reduction in crime and everybody will tend to try to live in a good way to some extent it is not also very good because you're too courteous you don't want to do so many things that normally in other places will have encountered a normal thing i can't just walk on the street and see a child that is not mine and speak to the child just because you're just scared that you know it can be turned against you so everybody they're having to be very very careful although it is aimed at saving improving safety to some extent it is also very extreme as a parent as an african parent although i agree the fact that we africans maybe we are on the extreme of maybe raising children i also understand the fact that coming to the uk you're also being very very restricted you can almost not train your child the way you want to train your child because of all the rules all the regulations they even teach them in the school when they go to the school they will tell them look you've got this right you've got this right you've got this even though it's a good thing at some point it is very restrictive before we go on do you know in the uk according to the study in the uk every day about 1000 people apply to leave the uk every day and out of these 1000 people 40 percent are actually british like they are citizens they were born here they were raised there it is also said that 3.4 million British are living abroad, which is about 7% of the entire British population. So imagine how many British, how many people who are even from here are actually living abroad. In the UK, there's a lot of antisocial life. You can be in the UK, I always say this on my channel, and I had a video I posted not too long ago where a woman died and she was in her flat for two good years, undiscovered, undiscovered, unnoticed, nobody knew she was missing. And although it may not happen to you, it may not happen to me, but it is happening. The UK is so antisocial in the sense that everybody is minding their business you may not know your next door neighbor you may not know the person living next street to you you may just be in your zone and i also make joke about this that some people they left their boyfriend they left their fiance in africa and just left them and you know ended the relationship because they've got uk visa and they just thought when i come to the uk i'll come i'll come and find husband mm. 
<laughs> Although you can find husband on dating site and luckily on the streets, but there's a lot of antisocial life. If you don't have your own close circuit, if you don't have your own close uh, group of people, you may never be social. You may never socialize with anybody. You see so many people who only socialize with their workmates, their their classmates, their churchmates, maybe their neighbor, their friends' friends, their schoolmates. But you see, there's a lot of antisocial life. Don't get me wrong, when they get their holidays, they go abroad, they travel, they go to places, they enjoy their self, they go to pub, they go to clubs, they have fun. But when it comes to real socialization, meeting people and interacting with people, it is not as much in the UK. That is why so many British, so many of them want to go abroad to also mix with people and not be, you know, even so many parents, you see them in the care home, you see people uh, who are in their home with no friend, some, some children disown their parent, although it's a very sensitive topic, but it's still the truth. In this country, there's a lot of antisocial life, which is not how human were created. We are created to interact, we're created to, to mix up. Like the social life I had back home, even though my social life is zero, I think back home my social life was zero. In the UK, my social life is minus 20. <laughs> Do you understand the picture now? So there's a lot of antisocial life in the UK. You will agree with me that in the UK, if you've been working in the UK, the work environment can be very, very stressful. Although you end the money, in my entire 11 years of being a nurse, I have never once, until I moved to the UK, thought, oh, I may want to change my career. I don't really enjoy being a nurse. Although I enjoy being a nurse, but it is really stressful. You're working in a very, very stressful environment. Everybody's always in haste, always on like rushing to do something, running to do something. And although it is trying to promote um, workers' efficiency, try to be more productive, well, it can become very stressful. You see so many people who are depressed, who have anxiety, mental health issue in the UK because of the work environment. So many days you go to work, you come back and all you do is just cry. It's really working in the NHS, working in the care homes, working during this pandemic in general everywhere it is actually very very stressful and the fact that so many people are living and moving abroad so many people have been laid off i don't know what happened during covid it's been a very very serious although worldwide problem in the uk the stress has been more on those people who are working if you're working in the uk right now well done to you because you're doing almost the job of what 10 people should be doing what five people will be doing in one unit you can have six vacancies seven vacancies eight vacancies and the job is not going to reduce we have so many sick population that you have to attend to so the work environment is becoming more stressful that sometimes you just get home and you're like do i want to continue my life like this the next 20 years do i still see myself doing this i don't know if it will get better you're going to end one pound but you're going to work for 1.5 pound that's how it is before you end that money they will definitely use you drain your blood exhaust you and that is one reason so many british after a study they've agreed that when they moved abroad even to nearby eu countries they've had a more relaxed less stressful lower pace life than they had when they were in the uk and the last reason why so many people want to leave the UK is just for the sake of it. Like they've just had enough. And we, there's an adage in my country that says you do not know the advantage of a thing until you lose it or human needs are east at table. When you get here, it's your prayer point. You want to get to the UK. All of a sudden, you've achieved that. You want to do something else. So that is human for you. The only thing that is constant is change. So some people have just had enough and they just want to explore the world. They want to travel the world. They want to go to other countries to see what is happening. They want to learn other culture. I've seen people who move because they wanted their children to learn other language because the UK is English based and they think their children should be able to be more diverse. Some people want to just they've just had enough of the UK and they just think it's just time to go like it's time to go <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video please I beg you remember to please subscribe to this channel by just pressing the subscribe button thank you so much for watching and for more content on 
everything UK, everything abroad, not just the UK, diversification is coming. Like so many good videos are coming. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video. Until then, my name remains your baby girl of life, Gloria Otika. I will see you later. Bye.